Hey guys, I'm Sean Hammond with PremierGuitar.com. We are in Berlin, Germany, Germany <laughs> at the Holy Grail Guitar Show, talking to Linda Manzer, an amazing luthier from Canada. Canada. Linda, Hi. how was your trip over here? Was it insane like ours? It was totally insane. It's a whole, I <laughs> have could you write slept? a novel. I have slept. The guitars have not slept. <laughs> so tell us about the instrument that Danielle here is playing for us. It's um, a 17-inch arch top with a bear claw top. It's got um, DeQuisto-like sound holes, and I placed one of them closer to the player so it acts like a monitor. Mm -hmm. It's meant as an acoustic guitar, but it has a floating Kent Armstrong pickup. And it's also wedged, which means it's skinnier under your arm and wider at the body, at the bottom. Yeah, can you flip that around for us, Daniel, so we can, oh, wow. So it's, it's uh, skinnier here and then wider on the knee. It's called the Manzer Wedge. So it's more comfortable. So it leans back against your chest. You can see it on the end here a little bit better. It's gorgeous, the, the go. curvature of the top. Yeah, I know. It's a, they're fun to make. They're beautiful instruments to, to work on because they're so voluptuous, you know. Compa and, but I also make flat tops. But this, for the show, I wanted to make this. This is something I designed specifically for this show. Now, are, is the body laminates or solid or? Totally solid, carved European maple um, back and top. So it's a curly maple back and sides, and the top is a bear claw German spruce top with ebony appointments. What sort of bracing did you does it have on the inside? It's got an X brace, so it's got a more acoustic sound. I try to make the arch tops acoustic first, and then you can put a pickup on and plug it in and amplify it. But the idea is that it's acoustic first because uh, my teacher DeQuisto would say that it's the most versatile instrument. And it, it really can be played any way, and it's like a flat top guitar with lots of reverb and maybe not quite as much sustain. Mm -hmm. But this is brand new guitar, so it's just breaking in. And is, it a, is the bridge floating or? It's definitely floating. And that's one of, you know, when you fly over on a plane, <laughs> you've got to tape the bridge down if you lower the string tension so it stays where it's supposed to. So you didn't, did you spend a lot of time today having to try and reposition it after, we, or it, was, it made it okay? We messed around with it once Daniel started, you know, trying it out. So yes, a little bit. But that's the great thing about an arch top is you can move stuff around. Can lower the action. We, you know, we raise and lower the action really easily, and set the intonation. When you change strings, you can just mess around with it yourself, and it's pretty cool. It's nice. What about the woods on the fretboard and the pick guard and the headstock and all that? It's that's all ebony. Um, I picked figured ebony because uh, it's harder. Besides being harder to find, you know, jet black ebony, but I really like it when it's got, you know, so-called flaws in the instrument. So in the peghead, you can see this sort of stripe of light brown and that's macassar ebony so oh, nice. yeah it has more character and individuality that way huh yeah yeah definitely yeah it's what about on the frets and stuff are those are those kind of large frets or they're kind of jazz frets compared to um they're a little wider and a little lower so you can and you can put any kind of string on on this type of guitar right now i've actually got acoustic strings on it mm -hmm. so this is like a light gauge acoustic uh nickel coated phosphor bronze uh, string. It's a Diderio, their new string. Cool. Yeah. Is, is the scale like 25 and a half? Or? I'm going to go metric. It's 65 centimeters. Oh, damn it. Sorry. I'm an American and yeah, we don't, we suck at that. Yeah, I know. You got to get with the program, man. You're the only ones left. No, we're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wouldn't say that. I, well. li I like Americans. <laughs> so... <laughs> Is there anything else you want to tell us about it, or should we have Danielle play a little bit more, and then we'll tell people where to go to look yeah. at more? Because you have some incredible, like, this is incredible, but you have stuff where you just see it, and you go, like, multi-necked instruments, like, what are, I don't remember the name of. The Picasso's got 42 Picasso. strings, the Medusa has 52 strings, I just finished one um, that's got 51 strings. Yeah, I can go, I, I can go nuts, but I can also go normal. Yeah. So from nuts that was to one, normal. 52 strings you said? Yeah. 52 yeah. on the, and were those built for specific players in, I can't remember which. Uh, they, they ask for, and I just follow, you know, I follow their lead. I'm kind of, I like a, a good experiment and a good challenge, but I also really like to build just acoustic guitars, like guitars for players and yeah. that you can close your eyes and, you know, 
the music can come out of you through the guitar. So that's, I can, I, I'm, I try to be, you know. Versatile. Yes, versatile. I'm, I, I think I'm pretty versatile, yeah. Those, but those, okay, you probably get sick of people asking about the Medusa and all those, but were, like, was one of them built for Pat Metheny or something yes. like that? Yeah. The Picasso was built for Pat Metheny in 1984, and it has four neck sections and two sound holes, a door, uh, and it's got the first wedge I ever did, and that was so he could see what he was doing because it was con confusing. It was pretty, it's pretty out there for 1984. <laughs> so it's actually pretty out there for now. <laughs> yes, it's true. I don't think anybody else is going to be copying that one. No. So, okay, so back to this one. This wonderful player, Danielle Bazzani. Did I get that right? How's my Italian? Very good. Very good. He's an amazing player, and uh, I'm, I'm so pleased that he agreed to demonstrate my guitar for me. Cool. Let's have Daniel play a little bit more, and then we'll tell people more to go check out more of your stuff. Thank you, Daniel. So, Linda, what's the name of this model again? I don't have a name for it, actually. It's kind of the Jazz Cat De Quisto y Bear Bear. Let's call it the Bear, the 17 inch Bear. Cool. The Bear. <laughs> Linda, where can people go online to find out about the Bear and the Medusa and everything else you do? Uh, www.manzer.com. M A N Z, as in we say in Canada, M A N Z E R.com. Cool. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Danielle. Thanks for joining us, guys. I'm Sean Hammond for PremierGuitar.com.